So who needs a recession when you've got demographics? We have an aging population in North America, and all things being equal, that could slow the economy just as much as any recession. Now here's what I'm talking about. Over the next 10 years, if you look at the working age population in the United States, probably will grow about 2.3%. If you look at Canada, maybe 2.8%. If you look at the over 65 population in the US, likely to grow around 37%, and in Canada grow around 41%. That's a fairly dramatic difference between the two. Now here's why it matters. At different times of life, people consume things differently. When they're younger, they tend to buy more soft drinks, more clothing, more cars. As they age, perhaps more medical care, more services in general, more leisure activities things, but the North American economy has really been predicated on them buying consumer goods. Now, how this may play out could be uh, a little scary, actually. If you look at this analysis done by Bain and Company, management consulting firm, they looked at what this might mean for the auto sector, and according to their research, we could be looking at U.S. auto sales going to a level that we last saw during the 2008-2009 recession, and that would be by 2025, you know, almost a decade from now, or half a decade actually, uh, but uh, something that we should probably start becoming concerned about, not just for that product, but for lots of others. Now, how do we prevent this? We don't really prevent it. We could maybe offset it. Usually when you have a business cycle downturn, you would cut interest rates, governments might spend a little bit more. Gonna have to do a little bit more than that this time around. It's not just about stopping one quarter of negative growth. Maybe we need to spend more on tech spending that will offset some of what's happening by productivity increases. If you look at Japan, a country with a very old population, uh, they have seen companies really adapt. You've seen mergers between Japanese companies and other companies, perhaps overseas. You might see that in North America as well. It's time for creative solutions. I uh, am not necessarily scared of what's going to happen, but I think it's something that needs a lot of adaption and it's something for companies, organizations to start thinking about now.